is kind of spring but not really so in like a few weeks all of this is gonna be greener and all the beautiful trees the grass is gonna be green oh, summer is just beautiful in this park everything's gonna be lush and green and warm good idea to come to the park and just you know cruise through the park like we always do in summer because I thought it was warmer than it actually is and we made it to the park because the park's not very far from my home maybe like two kilometers so we made it to the park and then I was like no wait we gotta dump this bike because it's it's too cold on the bike my hands were dying okay so now we're just strolling through the park or running so weird with the glasses I'm sorry but this the, this the light is just too bright in my eyes hey I see green grass is coming out I see some greenery coming so anyway this park is so huge it is it stretches kilometers and kilometers and we have gone from one end to the other one day on a, on a bike and I mean it's it's far in the warmer months, especially in summer, and even now, you can always find people jogging, walking, doing exercise, biking, it just, you know, they come to the, the park, flying kites, a lot of kids in summertime, and some people even, some crazy people even swim in the river. There's like a group of, there's like this gang of old men, these old uncles, grandpas, they always swim in the river and for some bizarre reason that's like a thing now at this time when the river is frozen like there's a there's like a sheet of frozen ice on top of the river and like these old dudes they just like to swim in the frozen like the freezing cold river that's like a thing i don't know why so here's the river see some parts are still frozen there are some uncles on the river what are they doing ice fishing In the distance you can see the Sun Hall Bridge body out of the river <laughs> oh my god that looks so suspicious it's two tall buildings that's actually k11 k11 is just right behind these trees i don't really know where most of my viewers are from but where i'm from you cannot do this we don't have parks like this where I'm from and I remember as a child we had Florida Lake and I do remember going there but over the years it just became impossible to go there because it became so dangerous here's K11 Mall find a lot of old people in the parks all the time because the locals the older people they are very active they are not just staying at home doing nothing they're really very active and you can also find these square dances where you find groups of old grannies in these squares where they go at night to dance together and do exercise we actually saw them last night when we were going home and I was surprised because yesterday was freezing cold because the wind was 
insane. So yeah, that was really cold. That's really brave of them. But yeah, you can always find the old folks in the parks. They love exercising. They love staying active, you know. This whole area behind me actually, in the summertime when the river is higher, this is actually all water. We can't walk here in the summer because it's all water. But right now, it's like a little beach, like a river beach area. So that's how you know it's still cold. <laughs> this is just like solid, thick ice. You see how thick that is? So I'm way too scared to walk on the actual river, like the frozen parts of the river because I'm just terrified of falling through the ice. I clearly remember the movie, what was it, with Macaulay Culkin, The Good Son or something, where the kids were like playing on the frozen river and the girl fell through the ice. That always stuck with me as a child, even as an adult. That shit still haunts me. But I think it would be pretty safe because even this ice is like a very, it's not, you can see it was not a lot of water and it's maybe like 10 centimeters thick and this is solid it's strong and solid i mean it can carry my weight without breaking or cracking so yeah i'm, I'm still way too scared though Roller skating path, though. Hey, why? I feel like this path here is so nice for roller skating. Like, imagine it's summertime or springtime, and it's warmer, and you're like skating all along the river. We usually bike, but that's like old news now. It's boring. Walking, running, biking. We've done it all. This time it's going to be roller skating down this path. So, bear with me here. I just thought of something. Imagine I'm strapping like a GoPro cam to my chest or my head and I'm skating down this that looks like an endless tunnel. Wouldn't that be cool? I'm gonna do that. used to do that before I was a mommy I used to bring Coco to the park and then we would sleep under the trees that was fun you were not in the world yet well, I was <laughs> you were not in the world you were still in my egg in your egg in my tummy <laughs> oh that's a nice tent so in the Chiang Mai side park, I used to live in Chiang Mai right, like right next to the park. And so I used to take Coco there and sit under the trees. And actually that section now, every year they make like a huge sunflower park over there. And they just make it bigger and bigger every year. Like it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And we have photos with the sunflowers, like when I was pregnant and then when she was born. And then every year we always make sure to get the like the sunflower photos. Yeah. 